Kilauea Volcano Update Erupts south of Caldera with little notice. Increasingly episodic unrest continues in the region south of Kilauea's peak, and scientists on Wednesday reiterated that eruptions in the region can occur without notice during peaks of activity. The area is uninhabited land within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Kilauea is not erupting and the volcano alert level remains at alert. From the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory update on October 11, the latest eruption, although it lasted less than a week, came at a good time, namely in mid-September, when visitation to national parks was seasonally declining before the winter holidays, and when the state's tourism industry was suffering from a mass exodus of people people who visit the park. Tourists from Maui after the deadly forest fires on August 8. As soon as the eruption started, visitors poured in to see the latest activity, said park spokeswoman Jessica Farrakane. A lot of people were following the U.S. Geological Survey webcams and closely following the summit data and imagery, knowing that it could happen. Pele gave us signs for several weeks through increased seismicity at the top that he was on the move. Farrakane said data from the entrance station shows that at least 5,000 visitors, and perhaps more than that, came every day during the eruption to see the volcanic activity. This number includes residents of the Big Island. The park does not differentiate between tourists and residents in its visitor statistics. This number exceeds the average daily visits throughout last year. The park had 1.6 million visitors in 2022, or an average of about 4,331 people per day. The most recent eruption began on September 10, with lava spewing from six vents on Hala Mau Mau and an area known as the Block Fall on Kilauea's peak. One day later, Stephen Apsley, a U.S. Army captain working for the Pacific Element Defense Coordination, and his girlfriend Savannah Timmer made a final flight from Honolulu to the Big Island to see the eruption. He was working on fire response on Maui and couldn't afford to take a day off. Was full, so the couple decided to take an overnight trip. I know that eruptions can end as quickly as they happen, so I try to see them as often as possible," Apsley said. I know how incredibly lucky I am to live in Hawaii and have the privilege of seeing something so spectacular, so I didn't want to waste any opportunity. This is an amazing natural phenomenon that most people never get to see clearly.